Hey guys, I am a hot mess. Why am I literally a hot mess? Because we're getting ready to go out and shop for a new kayak that I wanted to get done, the beauty room tour, and show you guys how to hang your own very pa your very own pallets. I'm a little tongue tied, I'm a little tired. Um, we were up all night till, well, well past after two. Supporting other channels, joining lives, getting other people to join my channel. You guys were almost there. Yes, I said it again. YouTube is verifying my hours. It is at 3,977 on the monetization tab, you guys. So they still need to put on there the live that we did Thursday night, the four and a half hour live, you know, where I vomited because I smelt mineral salt. Ugh, don't ever do that. And then on our YouTube family member count, it's varying, you guys. On YouTube Studio, it says I only need like 12. On my channel, it says I need 17. On the monetization app, I forget what it says I need, you guys. But it's varying, so I'm not sure. But I would like to get at least 20 more to where, you know, it's over the count and we don't have to worry about it. But you guys, we're doing it, and y'all rock. Now, let's get in to the a Sunny's Place a Beauty Room Tour and how to make your very own palette wall, guys. I'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, let's see behind the scenes. Here we go. This is my mailing out section. I have so many giveaways and friend mail to send out. My stationery set. Here's the starting of my hair care section. This back here, oh, some of my lovely traveling bags. And then I have my little side bags I keep there right at the door. This is a wreck. It is my cubby hole. <laughs> It has all of my product shots, props, and it has like crafts that I do, um, iron-ons, all type of things like that. Then we come over here. Here is where I do my hair. This is three different containers right down there has all my little hair clips in it, and then this is the basket I drop them in when I get home. The brushes, um, here's part of my blow dryers, my diffusers, more hair clips, my hair rollers, my hair care products right here. And then all the hair styling tools right there. And then there, I sit down here, throw a pillow down there, and that's where we do the hair. Look at these beautiful little lights that Miss Kathy gave me. I love those. They're on all the time now. I got them put up yesterday. Now, you guys, let's flip you around. Here's the closet, you guys. All of my Ipsy bags are there, some extra little bags. Then we have the skincare that I'm doing reviews on and using. And um, that's where I usually keep my, uh, what are they called, the balls that you drop into your bathtub. Oh, you guys, I'm so tired. I can't think of the name of them. But anyways, I keep them right there. I usually get them from um, Jumpin' Jelly Bean. Little water fountain with rocks. Gift that I got. Ah, look at my little sloth. <laughs> I use him when we go to Silver Dollar City. He's actually a backpack. And of course, more seaside decorations. Little crown I made. This is from Opinionated Horsewoman. <laughs> she got it from True One. Let's get into this closet, you guys. There's the clothes mess. I need to organize my closet. It is filled top to bottom. And then all in there is boxes and packing materials that I save so that I can just recycle and use to pack y'all's giveaways and friend mail. Now we're going to the shoe collection. And then the boots are all the way up here. <laughs> Noah's little dinosaur you got me. The sun hat we got from Fat Fit Fun. Those there are actually thigh high boots. They're really super cute. My youngest daughter made me that boss for my plant. 
Here's all nail care and crafts that I'm on the mission of doing. And then of course my makeup bags. More shoes down there. And then I decorated this side. There's the beautiful painting from Leanna Dalton. The back of the TV. As you guys can see, I have an organized space for each thing in this room. Here is the amazing kit. And there's all my nail polishes. This shirt here I got from Bling Bling Diva quite a while back, my Jeffrey hat. Here's a shirt that my beautiful friend Jenny made me for my birthday. It's got Sunny's place on there. The back of the shelving of the nail care, because this is where I usually sit to do my nails. There's all the nail polishes. And then of course we got the beautiful lamp. Cards that you guys have sent me. All the teddy bears my boys get me. The eight foot pit that I talked to you guys about. This thing is so comfortable, but it's enormous. Look how big that is. <laughs> There's coach bags, Michael Kors, Kate Spade. Yes, I have a window unit, unfortunately. Now, here's the back of the vanity you guys don't always get to see. More makeup, of course, and then all those boxes that I decorate with. I did get the um, Beauty Creations box up there. I love that. It says thank you there, and then I've got my Complex Culture there. Because, you guys, I really love Complex Culture. Mira Beauty, ColourPop. There's beautiful Zinnia, her little card she sent me. My daughter sent me those daisies, the 4th of July decorations I'm doing, bling brushes, Josie and Co. The palettes that we're gonna work on hanging today. Uh, there's Juvia's Place, the Jeffree Star collection. <laughs> My Pat McGrath, the amazing guys at CXC Beauty, Private Society, Mira Beauty, you guys, they are so very supportive. I absolutely adore them. I actually need to send them some money to get their newest collection. Um, we had to help out some people, so unfortunately I wasn't able to get that yet, but they actually put it on hold for me. Then over here, this is some skincare stuff I use every day. My lip oil, my CBD cream that Zinnia sent me. Um, this is from Kalan Cosmetics. This is a... Uh, Oh, you guys, my brain. It's the wash, what does that say? I cannot think of it. My cellar water, that's right. This is just a highlighting blurring stick. It's pink on white, y'all. I think it's by Tula. I think that's what that says. Liquid eyeliners. I really, truly hate these things, but I'm trying to get the hang of them. They've got the divoted, serrated edge. I hate them, same as that one. Then here, we got eyelash glues, files, it's empty, it's empty. <laughs> you guys, I don't keep a lot. I put these on my brushes after I clean them and hang them upside down so they'll keep their shape. Bobby pins. This is eyebrow gels and pencils that I'm currently using. Anastasia, this is NYX, and then we have um, Believe Beauty that I'm wanting to try out. I haven't used yet. All the mascaras I'm still using. So many, Thrive, Milk. Um, this is uh, Laura Mercier's The Caviar one I just got. I really, really do love this, you guys. And there's the Milk Kush, the Thrive. Here is Hank and Henry's. Um, there's that one that we got in the Amazon mystery box. And then this one is, what is this? Grande's Mascara. And then the It Cosmetic Superhero. I do love that also. These are palettes that I plan on doing looks with and showing some stuff off with. Top drawer, colored eyeliners. Yes, I finally got them. Thank you so much, Psychic Misty, for showing me them. Lip liners, magnetic lashes. Those are the Glamnetics. These are the ones I got off of Amazon. There's some Ardell's back there. This is from Ten Pen. It is just a little metal case that he sent me my magnets in that he made me. I adored those magnets, you guys. They're all over my fridge. 
extra tools and sponges. Back here. This is all uh, liquid eyeshadows or cream sticks. I love these caviar sticks. Here's this one, the caviar sticks. I forgot I even had this one by Cargo. I think this one is Wet n Wild. And there is some more Too Faced, Anastasia, of course. Um, LA Splash, Elf's, Ofra's. These are color pops that the beautiful opinionated, opinionated horsewoman sent me. I haven't got to use them yet, but I will. Setting sprays galore. <laughs> I really love the Gerard Cosmetics one, I'll tell you that. Highlighters. Of course, my Oprah's. Do -do 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 -do. This is the Samantha March collection. This is, um, what is it? It's not Beauty Bakery. Glam Lights. Glam Lights. Here's CXC Beauties, Nyla's. Of course, Hank and Henry's. Uh, that's not supposed to be in there. It's a very colored pigment. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put that. Let's get that out of there. These are from a um, indie brand that no longer exists, unfortunately. Some glitters. And we're keep going, guys. <laughs> These here are all lippies, summer mattes, some are just glosses. Yes, I mixed them up, unfortunately. More of them. <laughs> And then we have our washing tools for our brushes. Down here, videos I'm getting ready to do. This I made, I actually got the box from Dollar, oops, sorry, from Walgreens. And then I decorated it. I more eyelashes, and then I stored extra boxes there. And then we have the singles that I use. I love the Kiss ones and the Ardell ones. More nail stuff back there. There's the book of naughty people. Now, lippies that I used almost all the time right through here. And there, of course, the Jeffries, my cute little makeup towel. Oh, you guys, it's so much. I'm getting ready to do a review on the real her. That's a story, you guys, that is a story. Okay, let's hit this palette wall, you guys. Here we go. Up and up and up and up and up, 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 up. <laughs> Here it is. Now, you guys, please understand, I did not purchase all of these. Some were given in PR. Some was friend mail. Some were in mystery boxes. I did not purchase all of them. Now, this is a little over a year collection that I've started. Um, I had an accident to my face, had to have some surgery. So I quit putting makeup on, and then of course got my face fixed, as you all see, <laughs> and uh, started collecting it again. These, the majority of them I have used. And I did start a series on did they make it to the palette wall, but it was kind of a flop. So I quit doing that series. If y'all want me to start that back up again, I'd be happy to. Now, let's flip around to behind the scenes where we do the magic. Here is my lighting. I have a wonderful umbrella lamp, a box lamp. It does have a cover if I want softer light on it. I do use the ring light, all the beautiful headbands we use, me and Noah for skincare, for makeup, uh, what is it guys, Mass Mondays. All the different mirrors, that one, it magnifies so I can see the eye better that, you know, I'm trying to put my makeup on, can't see out of my right eye. This one lights up, I got it out of Fat Fit Fun. Now, let's scoot up in here. This is stuff that I normally use. This is the normal eyebrow stuff. This here is the L'Oreal Micro Ink Pen, the Elf Cosmetics, this is eyeglass glue. I'm going to give Ardell's Hydra Lashes another chance. The ones you put in water and it's supposed to get sticky and apply. This is that lip gloss I was looking for you guys that, um, who was it, Illuminos was selling for $20 and I got one for four freaking dollars. Yeah, it's this one you guys. And the tools, there's the half caked mascara I've been religiously using, I love that stuff. And of course my tweezers the glasses, you know your girl needs them. 
This is the <laughs> contour palette that I dropped and it popped right out of the actual palette cover, so I just keep it there. Extra brushes, you guys. <laughs> Look at all of them. <laughs> and then I have this beautiful Lazy Susan that my youngest daughter got me for my birthday. Now this is blushes and highlighters. This is an eyebrow set from uh, by Reem. There's some Fenty, some Gigi. <laughs> so many, you guys. Um, what is this one? Yeah, this is the NARS contour. The Phase 2 blush, the sponges I use. I use this one a lot. I love this style. You can get right up underneath your eye. I love it, I really do. The setting spray, this is what I use to wet my sponge with. Up here we got some foundations. We got Too Faced, Wet n Wild, concealers, Jacob Blocks, Hydrating, um, Glow Drops, the Zero um, Melting Off Your Makeup Stuff, the Eye Balm. <laughs> More concealers, here's Elf. Here is, I think this is Dose. Is it? I'm not sure, you guys. Meet your hues. I'm not sure which one it is, you guys, but there it is. There is the sample size I got from Too Faced of the Shape Tape. My e.l.f. Poreless Petty Primer. Here is the primers I'm using. I mainly use the e.l.f. one, the Space Primer and Eyeshadow Primer. This is from Fantasy Cosmetics. It is a cake liner. I do love this stuff, but you do have to get it wet and you need to play with it a little bit to see how wet you've got to get it to actually get it to apply and stay correctly. This is from Private Society Foundation, Wet n Wild, Too Faced, Get Cosmetics. We got some Believe Beauty, some L'Oreal, some CoverGirl. <laughs> so much, you guys. All right, my loves, now we're gonna go on to how did I do the palette wall? The beautiful, amazing palette wall. All right guys, let's get to it. Okay guys, I wanted to show you, I went ahead and hung some more fish netting just to stay with the seaside theme that I've got going on. Hi guys. <laughs> I literally just draped it around and then tacked it up with tacks the same way that I did over there. Now, it doesn't matter how you put this up here, you will not see the seam when you go to hang your palettes on the wall. Now, I want to reiterate about 15 million gazillion times, do not use a Velcro. And I will show you why in just a second, guys. It is not good to use Velcro. I'll show you why. Okay, guys, you see all these beautiful seashells? Minus this one. I'm going to move her over to the other net over there along with some other ones. But the seashells are there to hide stuff like this and this. I super glued, not super glued, I hot glued them on because I first used a Velcro. There's some more I didn't get hidden. Because... The Velcro tore the drywall off of the wall. It was too strong and it just ripped the drywall right off of the wall. So do not, whatever you do, use Velcro. Do not do that. All right guys, let me show you how I got this oh, done. Again. again, I'm a fright. Please ignore it. It's about the wall and the beauty room today. So what you're gonna need for your palette wall is to make your wall whatever color you want to go with your decor in your room. And then like I did, I like to hang the fish netting so that it goes with my seaside theme. What you're gonna need, clear thumbtacks, a big old spool of ribbon. Now, I chose to use ribbon. A lot of people have recommended for me to use fishing line. Here's the thing. When you go to tie your fishing line, unless you can get it super, super tight, it comes undone. Your pallets crash to the floor. Now, you can get your man to tie all your knots for you, and then he can actually burn them and take the chance of burning his fingers and it melting and breaking anyways, or you can just use the ribbon and then layer them to hide the ribbon. But any of them that it's showing here on the wall, 
it blends in because the palettes are so many different colors. Now, the palette that we're gonna hang right now is the Sex Talk by Hank and Henry, which I thoroughly enjoyed it, plus his beautiful lipsticks, the uh, glitter ones that melt on your mouth and the beautiful glitter case. Oh, I love it. What you do is you pull out some ribbon, you open your palette, then, right at the crease of the palette, you put your ribbon. Size it up so that you have enough length on both sides of it. I'll flip this over. And there goes the ribbon on the floor. Wouldn't be a video if Sunny didn't drop something. So put the same amount on each side and then you cut it, of course. Now make sure when you're sizing it, that you have enough because what you're gonna do is put your ribbon back in the crease of the palette and close it. Then you're gonna hang it. Because what you're gonna do is tie it, just a little double knot. Sorry, right, guess set it now, you guys. And then I'll pick it up and show it to you again. So many people have asked me to show them how to do this. I think it is a wonderful way to use what you have and not have to spend even more money to decorate your room to do your backgrounds. Now, I've done my double knot. Ta-da! You cut off the excess ribbon. This little part here right above the notch. Do not get too close to it or you're going to cut your notch or it's going to come unraveled. Leave just a tiny bit. There you go. I always keep my scissors up here. I try to stay kept up on it, you guys, but I'm horrible at it. Just like that. And then you take your tack, just like this. And let's find a spot on the wall, guys. I'm gonna flip you around here and let you see me do it. Let's go over here underneath the Natasha Denonis. And be about, well, let's go ahead and take Natasha down because we sized up to where we'll be able to hide the ribbon. Move it up a little bit and push that thumbtack in. No, you don't have to hold your palette there while you're doing it. I marked the spot where the tack goes, but I do keep the palettes up there so I can make sure that I have as much ribbon hidden as possible. Oh, I think we found a stud. There we go. Thumbtacks in, hide your bot, oh, oh my lord, hang your bottom palette first, straighten it out, and then put your top palette. Just like that. Now, if you're a little OCD like I am, every day before I do my videos, <laughs> I have to go through and straighten all of these palettes out. Now, you guys, I have got all of these to hang. So, I'm going to speed through it for you guys and then show you the final results of the rest of the palette wall being made. And I want you guys to know, yes, this wall could be absolutely completely filled with palettes. This whole room could be filled with palettes. I genuinely, genuinely love giving stuff away. It makes me feel so good to put smiles on everybody else's faces, you guys. That's why my palette wall is not complete because I give so much stuff away. I don't want it going to waste. I don't want skincare expiring, yada, yada, yada. So that's why I give so much stuff away, you guys. I don't like waste. I love seeing people's smiles and the thank yous I get and how it makes them feel when they receive it. So you guys, now we're gonna speed through me getting these done, getting them hung up, and then I'll show you guys the finals result.
I went to speed through to get these done for you and I went to cut the ribbon for this one and I cut it way too short. So just a little tip. It's okay if you cut it too short. Just put it onto the next palette. There's always different size palettes to be able to use your ribbons on. All right, guys, I'm gonna speed through and get the rest of these done now and I'll see you guys in a minute to show you the final results. Little break, guys. I wanted to reassure you that all of these little ribbons that I have that I cut off, I actually use them to decorate cards or to make confetti. So it's not just going to waste. All right, guys, now I'm gonna go hang these on the wall and I'll show you guys the final results. All right, guys, the final results are the ones I just hung. Got sex talk down here, aromas. I went ahead and hung some little starfish. I decided to not hang that horizontally because technically it goes vertically, so I just put it in my shelf up here. Be creative, you guys. Here is our peacock feathers that we found at the zoo, and I love butterflies. Here's my mirror from the beautiful real lady electrician. Here's the other palettes I hung. And then I just hung the little starfish, tacked them right up there just like I guys showed you guys. Some more starfish up there. Here we go. Back it up, sorry guys. It will eventually all be done. I will have the rest of the net covered. I just love this, you guys. It is an amazing way to use the products that you already have to decorate your beauty room. It makes a beautiful background. A wonderful conversation piece. There's my fans that I got from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> now, you guys, this is my contour palettes. It's my eyeshadow palettes. It's my highlighting palettes. Some I've tried, some I haven't yet. Yes, if y'all see any that you would like me to do reviews on and I have not, just leave it in the comments below. Also, I had a lady ask me if I would be upset if she done a palette wall. You guys, no, I'm not. I'm not that girl. If I have ever done anything to inspire you, please let me know. I will turn this around and got a little message for you guys. Thanks for watching How to Make Your Palette Wall and Sunny's Beauty Room Tour. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. A little message left. Be right okay, back. Hey guys, if I have ever inspired you to do something, please tag me on, on Instagram. It's Sunny Plemons 5. I love seeing that, you guys. It just makes my heart melt. I love being able to inspire people to do things, and I love trying to recreate things that other people have done. I'm just not really good at it. So I try to come up with my own ideas because I am horrible at trying to recreate something else somebody else's idea that they came up with. I can never get it the way that they've done it. I'm horrible at it. So if you can achieve that and make your own inspirations, you guys, if you do it, you know, put your own self into it. Um, like I done Seaside. If you love doing Seaside, put your shells up there, put your netting up there, hang your pals the way I did. But if you love butterflies, Oh, that could be such a beautiful palette wall. Nothing but butterflies all around it. Dollar Tree has those big butterfly stickers. Those would work perfect. If y'all do this, please tag me on Instagram. Again, it's Sunny Plemons 5 Y'all, thank you so much for requesting this video. I was going to do a Dollar Tree haul for you. I found a bunch of fairies. I get to start my fairy garden. I'm so excited, you guys. Thank you so much, Grandma Sandy for showing me your fairy garden and inspiring me to do it. I know it won't be anything like yours and I'm gonna do mine on the outdoors windowsill there. We have a brick ledge. We're going to cut some plywood and paint it and make a roof. It's gonna be wonderful, you guys. I'm so excited to do it. Okay, my loves, that's the end of the beauty room tour and how to make your very own palette wall. Thank you guys so much for all your support, you guys. I want to cry because I'm so happy about monetization. We are almost there, my loves. Okay, you guys, you know the drill. Give your girl a thumbs up or a thumbs down. But if you give me that thumbs down, please tell me why so I can fix it, you guys. I can't fix it if I don't know about it. All right, my loves, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.